The National Trust has U-turned on its treatment of volunteers who declined to promote the LGBT agenda following a public outcry. The decision came just hours after its director, Dame Helen Ghosh, said that if its volunteers at Felbrick Hall in Norfolk were unhappy at promoting the programme of LGBT events, they were free to leave the charity. Last week, it was revealed that volunteers who did not want to wear the Trust's LGBT badge or lanyard were barred from meeting visitors. At the time, Simon Calvert, Deputy Director at the Christian Institute, described the move as the very opposite of tolerance and diversity. The volunteers who volunteered uh, did so because they uh, believe in preserving public monuments, uh, because they want to promote history. Uh, it's very different from, from promoting gay rights. So I actually think it's pretty awful of the National Trust to humiliate loyal volunteers by banning them from meeting members of the public for refusing to wear a symbol of, of gay pride. The organisation admitted that well over 200 people had withdrawn their support over the row. It is now backed down, telling volunteers that they may resume their public roles. In a statement, the Trust said, We are aware that some volunteers had conflicting personal opinions about wearing the rainbow lanyards and badges. That was never our intention. We are therefore making it clear to volunteers that the wearing of the badges is optional and a personal decision. Thank you.